Now, I don't think there's anything that can truly prepare you for sticking your arm into a container full of leeches. My arm is uh, shaking a little bit. It's the real deal, I'm not gonna lie. I'm definitely nervous. Oh my gosh, they are just squirming all over the place. This is gonna be intense. I'm Coyote Peterson, and I'm about to be eaten alive by leeches. Ready? One, two, here we go, three. You know, normally on a day like this, I'd be out there in the lily pads catching snapping turtles. But today, we're gonna do something a little different. Now, when we post these Dragon Tales episodes, a lot of you write in and say, Coyote, how many times have you been covered in leeches? And the answer to that question is absolutely never. In fact, in 20 years of catching turtles, being in swamps, ponds, lakes, ankle deep to neck deep, I have had virtually zero leeches end up on my body. The only time I think I've ever actually had a leech on me is when I've been holding a snapping turtle and one has actually crawled off the turtle and onto my hand. And even when they did, they would suction on, but they would never suck blood. I'm sure a lot of you have seen the movie Stand By Me. You know, that scene when the kids wander down into the swamp and get covered in leeches and they're like, ah, oh, we're being eaten alive. That does not happen. So what we're gonna do today is prove that not all leeches suck human blood. Now I'm sure you're thinking to yourselves, Coyote, I thought we were going to see some leech bites, and you just said, not all leeches suck human blood. And they don't. But I wouldn't let you guys down. So today we are going to test what happens when my arm goes into a container with two different species. What I have here are two separate containers. This one has your common freshwater leech, ones like we would find in the pond right behind me here. These live in North America. And in this hand, are the European medicinal leeches. These ones are from overseas, and trust me when I say that they absolutely love human blood. All right, what I'm gonna do now is dump the freshwater leeches into the container, and I'm gonna put my arm in there. You guys ready? Do it. Here you go, guys. Look at that. They are creepy looking, but I'm not nervous right now because I know that these leeches will not suck blood. Even if they attach to my arm, it's more of them being curious and testing out the environment than it is them wanting to get a meal. Moment of truth. My arm is about to go into the container with the freshwater leeches. Ready? Yep. One, two, three. I said I wasn't nervous, but even still, putting your arm into a container with any leeches, definitely get your heart rate going. Oh boy, that one looks like it's actually going towards my arm right there, you see that? Most species of freshwater leeches, especially the ones that can be found in the United States, feed on small invertebrates or cold-blooded species like reptiles and amphibians. They are rather intelligent and this is something new in their environment. They're going right up to my arm and they're actually turning away. Look at that. I kept my arm submerged in the container for 15 minutes and wasn't bitten by a single leech. Okay, so I think at this point we have proven that the freshwater leeches have no interest in sucking my blood. Let's bring out the European medicinal leeches and see what happens with those. The next type of leech is native to Eurasia and is likely the most famous species as they have often been used in various medical procedures like reconstructive surgery. They live in muddy freshwater ecosystems and are notorious for feasting on blood. I just went and picked up the container of European medicinal leeches. You probably even change, you know, you probably even notice the change in the inflection of my voice. I am actually nervous at this point. Uh, these leeches are going to adhere to my arm and they are going to consume my blood. They haven't eaten in a few days and trust me when I say that they are hungry. All right, you ready for me to put them into the container, Mark? All right, release the beef. Here they go. All right, this is it. No turning back now. This is for science. Oh boy. A lot of leeches in there, Coyote. This is gonna be crazy. All right, I think it's about time to stick my arm into a container full of leeches. 
oh my gosh, they are just squirming all over the place. This is gonna be intense. Are we ready for me to be eaten alive by leeches? I think so. You're ready? Mark, you're ready. I yeah. know you're ready. Uh, the camera's ready. Camera's ready. Coyote pack? I feel like you're probably ready. All right. There's a lot of leeches in there. There's a lot of leeches. All right, so without further ado, I'm Coyote Peterson, and I'm about to be eaten alive by leeches. Ready? One, two, here we go, three. That gets your nerves going, that's for sure. Look at that, there's one already, boom. Just like that, instantaneous, secured to my arm. Holy mackerel. They're just like swarming towards my arm, look at that. One on my arm there, that's three. In a matter of seconds, my arm has been in here for, hold on, this one's like trying to go up my shirt, go this way. Boom, another one there on my hand. My heart is racing right now. Look at that, they are all over me. Ah! Oh, I can definitely feel something happening. Ooh, it feels like sandpaper grinding against my skin. My hand and arm have been in the water for about 60 seconds, and all but one leech is now on my arm. Now, the way that the leech's sucker works is they adhere on and they release from their saliva an anticoagulant enzyme. That enzyme not only numbs the skin, it also doesn't allow the blood to clot. Now, they have teeth that are kind of in the shape of a Y. Here, Mark, look at my fingers. It looks like this, the three teeth of a leech. They go like that and they slice into you. And I can feel them actually cutting into my arm. And look at that, look at how that leech is bent over it is holding on with the posterior sucker, which is the tail, and it is consuming blood from the anterior sucker, which is the mouth. And holy cow, is this uncomfortable. Ugh. It has been about 20 minutes so far since my arm has been in the water. I pan the camera down, look at how big the leeches have gotten. They are completely swollen with blood at this point. At this juncture, I think these leeches have had enough of a feast. It's time to get them off of my hand and arm. Now there is a right way and a wrong way to remove a leech from your body. You may think, let me yank it off. Yanking it off is bad because you can actually pull their teeth out into the wound. Those teeth get left in the wound, you can end up with an infection. Now you may think to yourself, well, maybe I should put salt on it or put a lighter behind it and heat it up and it will be like, I'm scared, let me get out of here. That's also really bad because it will actually cause the leech to regurgitate some of its food into the wound. That also will cause an infection. Now the best way to remove a leech is to just use the edge of your finger. And what I wanna do is softly slide the anterior sucker off of the wound. Okay, you ready for that? So how do you know which is which? which well, it's obvious that this is the anterior side as you can see the back end is not attached to anything. And look at that leech. Oh, that one just popped off. Oop, and that one popped off too. Look at that. Well, there's also the instance where the leech has eaten enough and it's going to just release itself on its own. Those two leeches are so full of blood, they are done eating. Look at how big that leech is. It is full of blood, and look at the blood just pouring out of my hand at this point. Wow. That leech basically said, okay, I'm done eating. Back into the water with me. What you wanna do is just gently slide your finger over the anterior sucker. There you go, look at that. I got the leech to pop off, and then I can just pop the posterior sucker off and plop back into the water with that leech. Oh, there we go. Ooh, that one hurts, look at that. You can see the blood just seeping out. Uh, there's four of them right there. This is going to be the bloodiest spot. You guys ready? One, two. Well, there you have it, the final leech. You guys ready? Dinner's over, buddy. The blood, it's like there's a lot of water in my blood. That's the anticoagulant just breaking down all the platelets and you can just see my blood almost looks really really thin and it's all about the amount of anticoagulant that actually went into my hand i may be bleeding for hours at this point 
my uh, hand is actually numb and that's how these leeches look at look at how big and fat and heavy they all are at the bottom of the tank there uh, the water is all red as you can see the drips of blood falling down into the water it's like a shark attack happened right here in this container that's crazy well I think ultimately at this point we have proven that while there are some species of leeches that will not give you a bloody bite, on the other hand, there are definitely some that will. The only thing left to do now is clean up this mess. Stick around and I'll show you exactly how to dress a leech bite if you're ever unfortunate enough to get one. I'm Coyote Peterson. Be brave. Stay wild. We'll see you on the next adventure. Man, that's a lot of blood. There are nearly 700 species of leeches found on our planet. And the good news is that only a very small percentage would even consider consuming human blood. This is not an animal you ever need to be afraid of. They do not transmit diseases and have never been responsible for a human death. As for me, I took on a massive amount of anticoagulant and bled for nearly 24 hours. In the end, was it worth it? Well, if you no longer fear going into a lake or pond, because we have proven that most North American freshwater leeches have no interest in drinking human blood, then I would definitely say that the answer is yes. If you thought removing the leeches was like watching a scene from a horror movie, make sure to check out the Behind the Adventure, where I show you how to clean up and treat the aftermath. And don't forget, subscribe to join me and the crew on this season of Dragon Tales.